Today we are talking about a recent discovery that has completely changed our perception of human history. This means that, just kidding, all those things we thought we knew, think again. You know, science has a fascinating and infuriating ability to painstakingly build up our knowledge of a certain subject, only to kick that entire building down with one discovery, much like a toddler ramming into a Lego Eiffel Tower. Chokes aside, today we are diving into a fascinating topic that has truly broken down how we understand human history. We are talking about the incredible fossilized footprints discovered at White Sands National Park. These ancient tracks have turned the conventional timeline of human migration on its head and changed everything we thought we knew about our past. White Sands National Park, located in southern New Mexico, is known for its stunning white gypsum sand dunes. I can confirm that this reputation is accurate, I've been to White Sands, I love it there, and I can say the dunes are both stunning and white and made of gypsum. That's three things, not both. But it's not just the scenery that's breathtaking, because beneath these sands lies a groundbreaking discovery that has captured the attention of scientists and history enthusiasts alike. Recently, researchers made an extraordinary find, fossilized human footprints preserved in the gypsum. You see, this is a big deal because prior to the discovery of the White Sands footprints, the earliest evidence of humans in North America dated back to around 13 to 16,000 years ago. So if the White Sands footprints date back to 23,000 years ago, that means that humans might have migrated here literally 10,000 years earlier than we thought, which is a long time. Before the White Sands discovery, many scientists believed that the first humans arrived in North America by crossing something known as the Bering Land Bridge. At this time, the northeasternmost point of Russia connected to Alaska, go plate tectonics, that's cool, and we thought that humans first arrived in North America via this bridge. But these ancient footprints suggest that humans might have arrived even earlier than we thought, like I said, a whole 10,000 years earlier. And this suggests also that these first humans could have come from a different route altogether. The White Sands footprints date back to the Ice Age. Yes, the Ice Age, a time in history where the world was cold and absolutely massive animals walked the earth. If you've ever seen a replica of a mammoth in a museum, you'll know what I'm talking about because if you thought elephants were big, this thing is like, it's huge. The footprints are remarkably well-preserved, and they tell the story of what life was like at this vastly different time in history. They show evidence of running, walking, and even children playing, which suggests that humans were not just surviving at this time, but thriving. There are footprints that tell the story of people hunting ancient animals, more specifically, giant Ice Age animals. Like, for real, there's a set of footprints from people hunting a giant sloth. I didn't even know sloths could come that big, but apparently in the past they did. The most exciting thing about this site is the interaction of humans and animals. So that's ancient humans, whatever age, interacting with extinct Ice Age megafauna. Things like mammoth, giant ground sloth, those are the things that are really um, exciting here. Because most footprint sites around the world relatively small, they're constrained by a small piece of exposure. But here, the footprints expand over, well, tens of kilometers, and that is unique. And that's what makes it really special because you can paleo track, you know, as if you were back in time following the animals across the landscape. And that's very, very special. And there are even a set of footprints no, actually two sets of footprints of a woman and her child. We can see this woman walked nearly a mile and the tiny footprints beside her disappear and reappear throughout her walk. This indicates that she probably picked up her child, carried them for a ways, and then set them back down to walk a bit before picking them up again. Maybe the kid was tired or fed up from walking so much, but it's so funny to me to think about how some aspects of human life don't really change at all. Like this part of parenthood really isn't that different today. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, White Sands is a vast white gypsum dune field, AKA a desert devoid of pretty much any life. Now you might be thinking, how did humans survive so well in this barren landscape? 
Well, the answer is that White Sands hasn't always been a desert. When these Ice Age humans called White Sands their home, the area was actually a giant lake lush with greenery. And if you're interested to know how this vibrant ecosystem turned into the dune field that we know today, definitely check out my video on the story of White Sands. It's one of my personal favorites. These footprints are like a time capsule, providing us with a direct glimpse into the past. The discovery at White Sands is a game changer for scientists and historians. It reminds us that we need to constantly question and update our understanding of human history as new evidence comes to light. It also reminds us that history and science are not static narratives, but dynamic puzzles. Each new find, like these ancient footprints, helps us piece together stories like the story of our past. And they offer us a deeper appreciation and understanding of where we come from and the fascinating world that we live in. Understanding the past helps connect people um, to their ancestry, to the, to the landscape, to the past and footprints are an incredibly emotive way of doing that. We've all made footprints at some time in our life. We've walked on a beach, we've stepped out of the shower and left a, a wet footprint on, on the tiles. We've, we've all made footprints. If you contrast that with other archaeological evidence like stone tools, very few people have actually made stone tools today. So we all connect everybody, not just the scientists, not just conservationists, but basically the general public. And I think that's what's really special. It's that connection, the connection with the past. We can all understand it. We've all left traces um, in our time. And I think that's really uh, the key here. And that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please be sure to go ahead and leave a like down below and be sure to watch my video on the story of White Sands National Park, which you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.